There is free Wi-Fi everywhere at coffee shop, in hotel or at waiting lounge. However, there are many security dangers associated with public Wi-Fi. Data explode or sent using public Wi-Fi can easily be intercepted by cyber criminals. The most common danger is look-alike or fake Wi-Fi network. In this video, we will see how intruders generates fake Wi-Fi network and how to stay safe on public Wi-Fi. Let's play. The most common way to generate a lookalike or fake SS point is a Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3. Link is in the description. Written in Python, this tool is currently not available for Windows and Mac operating system. We will install this tool on Kali Linux and is compatible with Python 3.8 and above. Python comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. Let me check whether it's there on this machine or not. If you don't have Python installed, please install it with this simple command. Already a latest version, Python 3.9. Now let's get back to GitHub page. But before cloning the repository, we need to download some packages. Let's copy this command and paste it in the terminal. The download speed depends upon your system configuration and speed of the internet. And there is one big disclaimer comes with this video that hacking is illegal until unless you have written permission or consent from victim. The main features of this Wi-Fi pumpkin tree is rogue access point attack, man in the middle attack, transparent proxies, credential harvesting, DNS monitoring service, Wi-Fi network scanning and many more. Now it's time to clone the repository to our terminal. Now let's check file and folders on our desktop and here we are. Now let's move on to Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3. There is actually two ways to install this Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 tool either through makefile or setup.py
Now as you can see all the dependencies and the packages required for Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3 is installed. Now it's time to set up Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3. Most people are unaware of the risk of using public Wi-Fi. Think about the cost of being connected all the time. Nothing is free. The biggest threat is your data, traffic and identity could be completely exposed. Now the tool is installed. To launch Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3, simply type sudo Wi-Fi Pumpkin 3. Oops, I think I missed 1p in Pumpkin. Let's type it again. Here we are, simply type AP to see what we can change with the help of this tool. Here we can change SSID, that is the Wi-Fi name, you can even change channel, interface and status as of now is not running and security is false. Let's set the interface first, I am working on Ethernet. So I'm selecting Ethernet 1, in your case it may be WLAN 0. Time to set our new Wi-Fi name. Uh, we choose the most common one, it's a free Wi-Fi. Always keep security in a false mode. Here you can see the changes we made. The Wi-Fi name is free Wi-Fi, channel is already 11 and interface is Ether1. With this simple start command, devices around you will connect automatically if their Wi-Fi is turned on. So this is one of the key point. Always turn your Wi-Fi off when not in use.
you can easily choose any Wi-Fi name of your choice, uh, like uh, home network or office network. You see how easy it is to generate fake access point. Now it's time to move on our next section that how to stay safe on public Wi-Fi. There are over 542 million public hotspots worldwide. Luckily, there are ways to stay safe on public Wi-Fi. It's a boon or pain. Totally depends on how you use it. Number one, avoid checking sensitive data. Unless it is absolutely necessary, avoid logging into social media and especially banking websites. Number two, turn off sharing. Always turn off sharing while using public Wi-Fi. Number three, use VPN. If you like to check sensitive data on public Wi-Fi, use virtual private network. This will encrypt your data and keep you safe. Number four, turn your Wi-Fi off when you are done and follow these steps and stay safe.